All right, Dave, uh, you just got recently listed as the uh, most polarizing sports media personality. Uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, recently announced Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather fight? So I talked about it when I was on Impulsive, and listen, I like Logan. I have to know how hard Mayweather's trying. If Mayweather's going all out, like this is Rocky IV, he's in Russia type situation, I would bet all my money that Logan Paul can't let, land a punch. If he's like, okay, Nate Robinson got knocked out and it was bad on black Twitter and it was bad for professional athletes. He's got to basically avenge that and he wants to whoop him. I think he can whoop him. If he thinks an exhibition and he wants to like get money and this is just maybe setting the pavement for like down the road, it could be entertaining. And this is nothing about Logan. I like Logan. I wouldn't fight any of the Pauls if they'd fucking mash me. But Mayweather's greatest to ever do it. I know he's older. But I gotta believe the greatest boxer of all time can do whatever he wants with basically an amateur. But I don't know. I'll, I'll watch. I'll buy the fight. I'm interested because I was wrong. I thought Nate Robinson would be Jake. So we'll see here. I already said it though. I, you know, Mayweather, he's the best boxer of all time. If he doesn't want to get hit, I don't think he'll get hit. If he's mad and wants to prove a point, I think he can. If it's a payday, who fucking knows? I, I really don't know. That's what makes boxing great. This, wow. is, this is what you need to do right now. As soon as this podcast is over, you go to the store and you get a bottle and you engrave Mayweather's name on it and you ship it to <laughs> him. Does. And also for backup, do the same with your name and just be like, just name, <laughs> but just ship them in two different boxes. Get him, get him really excited about it. So he, no, I'm going to be clowning. So yeah, what, just, do, what do you no, think I'll, about that? I'll be trolling. Uh, dude, it makes sense. It's, um, it's, it's a mindset that everyone has and, and for good reason. But I'm not. I'm not the fucking guy to underestimate. I'm just not. I'm. I'm really not. I've. I've proved people wrong so many times, and I'm gonna continue to do it for the rest of my life. This is the biggest opportunity I've ever been granted, and I'm gonna seize the fucking moment, work my ass off, and pull off a miracle. But it won't be the first time that I've shocked the world.